How many subscriptions do you have that you don't use? Do you even know? If you're unsure, don't feel bad. I didn't know either, but I wanted to know. So I went and checked. It turns out I had at least 10 subscriptions I hadn't used in more than six months. Spoiler alert, I'll save over $3,000 a year. So in this video, I wanna cover when should you cancel a subscription? Three reasons why you're not using the subscription and how much money you can save by canceling. How do you know if you're getting enough value out of the subscription? That's gonna be unique to you. I can't answer that for you. To be clear, I still have many, many subscriptions I do pay for. I'm simply happy with the value that I get from them. For me, a good rule of thumb is if I haven't used the subscription in the last six months, it's definitely time to reconsider. Personally, I use a budgeting app. It's called You Need a Budget or YNAB to manage this. It keeps me very honest about what I actually spend money on, and I absolutely love it. And plus, it makes sure I actually see all the subscriptions when they run. Link in the description. So for me, the reasons I wasn't using these subscriptions were either they take too much time, the need simply went away, or they were monthly tryouts, and I just forgot to change them to yearly. So I thought I would use it, but it ended up taking too much time. Examples of these for me are like Audible Premium Plus, uh, Tip Ranks, The Bear Cave. To be clear, I, I still think these can be worthwhile services. It's simply that for me right now, I don't have the time that's really required to get good value out of them. And so it makes absolutely no sense for me to stay subscribed. Another reason is I stopped having a need for the subscription. Usually one of two things happens. I use a competitor service, like for example, for years I used Microsoft 365, or I think it was called Office 365 back in the day. But these days I use Google Docs and Sheets, and I totally didn't forget to stop paying for Microsoft 365 for years. It was at least months, it might've might been a year, but the need simply went away. Another one is Adobe Creative Cloud. I stopped having the need to work in Photoshop so much. Similar things also happened for me with like Hubstaff and Storyblocks, fair number of things. Another flavor of sort of stopped having a need for it is streaming services. I have accounts at quite a few, but really the only one that I regularly pay for is Amazon Prime, and that's only because it's so damn useful for other things like free shipping. But for the other streaming services, when there's a show that I really wanna watch, I sign up while it's running. Then when the show finishes, if they're good or even if they're not so good, I cancel. I've literally done that for Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO, or I guess it's Max now, Paramount+, Plus, Apple TV, so quite a few of them. What about services I signed up to monthly? Maybe because I wasn't totally convinced on them. Then I use them, I love them, but I forget to change to yearly. Most subscriptions will be a lower price if you commit to a longer time period. For me, a great example of this is Incogni. I was paying $12.99 a month, and then after a couple months of use, I changed to yearly. So now I'm paying closer to $6.87 a month. Now, I'm pretty easy to sell stuff to, which is probably why I've collected so many of these damn subscriptions in the first place. But still, for me, there's great value in every so often doing an inventory of my expenses and seeing which subscriptions really earn their place in my budget, which services actually add real value to my life. Canceling all these subscriptions reduces my yearly costs by more than $3,000, which is about $260 a month. I know what I wished I did with that money. Investing $260 a month, assuming a 10% annual return, over 45 years, you end up with more than $2.3 million. That's pretty nice. But let me know what you think. I'd love to hear how many subscriptions you're able to cancel, what got chopped, how much money you saved, all that stuff. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.